Welcome to MAT 2LB, booklet number 7, Geometry, lesson number 8, Classifying Triangles by Angles. Now in the last lesson we learned one system of classifying triangles and it was by side length and we used words like equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle and we, we're not really abandoning that but there's other ways that we can go about classifying uh, the triangles that we find out there in the universe and a second way of classifying them is by angle. So again, we've got a nice graphic here at the top. So let's have a quick look at these three types of triangles. The first way, of, or the first type of triangle that we're going to determine um, by looking at its angles is the inclusion of a little 90 degree uh, right angle in our triangle. And if our triangle has a 90 degree angle in it, we call it a right angle triangle. And so if our triangle has one angle equal to 90 degrees, that's what we call it. So 90 degrees is sort of going to be our benchmark here. If it has one that's equal to 90, we're going to call it a right angle triangle. The other two types of triangles are going to either have all of their angles less than 90 or one angle that's actually bigger than 90. So let's have a look at the next triangle down the line. You'll notice that here we have what they call an acute triangle. And you'll notice that acute triangles have all three of its angles are less than 90. So it has, if we were to write this down, an acute angle triangle will have three angles less than 90. So all the interior angles will be less than 90 degrees, each one individually. Last type of triangle that we're going to look at is called an obtuse triangle. And all an obtuse triangle needs to do is have one angle that's larger than 90 degrees. Only needs one. And we're going to make sure that we get that down. So an obtuse triangle has one angle that's larger than 90, and all it needs is one. So those are the characteristics that we're looking for. Again, just to recap, a right angle triangle has one 90 degree angle in it, an acute triangle has all three interior angles less than 90, and an obtuse triangle has one angle that's larger than 90. Again, we've got this at the top of the page here for your reference, but let's try some of this classifying on our own. All right, so if we look at triangle number uh, in example one, if we look at triangle A, and we're going to try to classify this by angles. So um, before we start, I just want to draw quickly a 90 degree angle basically looks like, oops, I'll do that with a pencil. A 90 degree angle basically looks like the corner of a square, and that's going to be sort of our guide here. So when we're talking about different angles, if they're larger or wider than the square, that's going to be bigger than 90. And if they're sort of smaller than the corner of a square, those are what we're going to call less than 90. Um, so if we keep this little piece here with us, and we're going to look at each of these angles, so this angle here, that's going to be less than 90. You see how it looks like it's smaller than a square, uh, the corner of a square. This angle over here also looks like it's going to be thinner than the regular corner of a square, or sort of flatter. So that's also going to be less than 90. So I'm going to write that down just so I remember. These here are going to be less than 90 degrees and less than 90 degrees. Now this last corner, this is the one that's going to maybe be a little bit different because if you look at this, you'll notice that it's actually going to be larger than 90 degrees. Again, if you were drawing a regular 90, it would probably look something like this, but you'll see how it's wider. This side here has moved out, so this is sort of a wider angle now. So what we've actually got here is an obtuse triangle because this one angle is larger than 90 degrees. So that's the word I want us to use is obtuse. That's how we identify that particular triangle. All right, let's have a look at example B. And again, I'm going to drag this little sort of uh, right angle over here with me so we can make some comparisons. So again, let's look at these angles here. This angle, definitely going to be less than 90. This angle over here, we're going to be less than 90, and this angle here also less than 90. So when all three angles are less than 90, we call that an acute triangle. Let's drag this guy over here, and we'll have a look at this triangle in C. There we go. So let's start at the beginning. This, tri uh, this angle here is going to be less than 90. And this angle over here will be less than 90. So, so far we're looking like an acute triangle. However, we actually have this nice corner right here that actually is 
bang on 90. It's one of the three angles in this triangle is equal to 90, which means that this is going to be a right angle triangle. So I'm going to zoom out here. Again, we're looking at the three triangles that we've already tackled. One has been obtuse, one has been acute, and one has been right. So if you're looking for characteristics, one of the um, most straightforward ways to approach this is to look for that 90 degree little box they put in the corner here. And again, I'll just highlight that real quick. Anytime you see this little 90 degree corner in a triangle, you know it's going to be a right angle triangle. So right off the bat, before you do any other evaluating of the angles, you can just write down right off the bat it's going to be a right angle triangle. Otherwise, one of those angles may be larger than 90. If it is, it's going to be obtuse, and if it isn't, it's going to be acute. So what I'd like you to do here is hit the pause on the video, and I want you guys to try D here on your own, and when you're done, you have an answer. Come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, you're back. Let's get a look at the angles here. So this angle right here at the peak is certainly less than 90. Remember, 90 looks like the corner of a square, so that's definitely less than 90. This one here, although close, is also less than 90, and this one here will be less than 90. So when we have all three sides of our triangle that are less than 90, this will be an acute triangle. Which brings us to the end of lesson number eight and the end of unit number seven. So at this point, you can head off and try to work on the worksheet, following that, the review, following that, the test, and then I will see you in unit eight.